Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy Diesel from Shades and Souls. I know we see two boxes out here right now, and the reason why I'm including the second box in the video is because I don't know what's in it. And when I checked out the uh, tracking number and the address that it came from, it's the same as the big box. Now I know I know what's inside the big box. I don't know what's inside that small box. So if it's a free package deal to get with a big box, let's go see what it is. So I don't know why Under Armour sent me a Under Armour Women's Micro G Pursuit. I don't know what this shoe looks like, but just because this is free, thank you so much Under Armour for uh, sending this over. We'll check this out. So again, I'm really not sure if Under Armour purposely gave that shoe away for me because I bought shoes from them. But just in case it was a mistake, if anybody from Under Armour is watching this, a week from now, if you guys don't contact me, I will give this shoes to my wife, man. Don't get me wrong. Like, again, thank you if you guys did this on purpose. But if not, please contact me and I will return the shoes. But since we have it, let's just discuss what the shoe has. So, so the shoe is originally priced at 70 bucks, 50 bucks now. Uh, it is the Under Armour Micro G Pursuit for women. Product DNA for runners who need balance of flexibility and cushioning, lightweight mesh. Upper leaves uh, delivers complete breathability, foam padding, place around your ankle, collar, and under the tongue, blah, blah, blah. High rebound die cut EVA soft liner, one, one piece micro G foam midsole, turns cushion landing into explosive take takeoffs. I don't, I don't really know if, if that's going to be true, but I would never find out. Maybe my wife will. Tire inspired outsole pattern provides ultimate flex and superior traction. Offset is 88 mil millimeters imported. All right, let's check out the shoes. Again, if somebody from Under Armour sees this and you guys know this was a mistake in sending me these shoes, let me know and I will return the shoes, man. So here you go, here's a traction. It actually looks good, man, like for running shoe. And they said this is Micro G. So usually, they put micro G uh, writings if it was a micro G, but on this one it doesn't. It does have just a very simple mesh upper, textile mesh. There you go. And again, this is a six half women's. So if this is gonna fit my wife, then I'm gonna give it to her. Usually she's a size 7 in women's anyway. So, no sock. Alright, but on to the real deal. And what I really purchased from Under Armour. So I took the receipt out just to show you guys. That for real, for real, I only ordered this second shoe. Which was the Under Armour Spawn 2. <coughs> But check out, check out what was written in the box. Let me just cover my uh, details really quick. This was the box for the second shoe. And it says one of two. And let, let me get the bigger box. Saying Diesel package number two. Coming from, which came from that address right there which is under armor's address let me let me get that real quick there you go ua whatever so again under armor if you gave that on purpose thank you if not man message me find me on ig dm me whatever i'll return that shoe to you I'm not that type of person all right, here we go. Box sag reads, a half men's. That's my true to size. Under Armour Spawn 2. No color scheme. Green vert. All right, that's 
is this color, this is the color scheme that's written on here. It's a regular Under Armour box. Here we go. Let's check the shoes out. Excited for these. Woo! I've never had a green shoe. It's going to be a first for me. So, one is also, I never had any anatomic shoe. So, the first anatomic spawn, I missed out on that. Not missed out, I just chose not to. But, uh, second anatomic spawn, I will not be missing that. So, here we go. You will be talking about the shoe. Let's go on the tech specs on the shoe as written from Under Armour. UA anatomic shoe. Upper is based on the anatomy of player's foot in motion. When you move, the shoe works with you, but against you, that means you get more control, more confidence, and greater support as you run the court. All right. Interwoven molded layers of TPU film and PU coated mesh. For multi-layer support and anatomical design, exposed mesh areas for superior breathability, blah, blah, blah. Initial padding, tongue, Daika EVA sock liner, full length micro G. Midsole, turns cushion landings and explosive takeoffs. Lateral TPU plate, provides added support stability and anatomical outsole. For superior traction and flexibility, rounded outsole design promotes quick movements and change of directions. Weight is 12 ounce. All right, now we're done reading. Let's get to the real deal, which is the shoes themselves. Check out that traction. This is actually the first time I've seen this shoe. I couldn't find it in the stores. I couldn't find it on any of the foot sites, but here it is. The green of how it looks here on camera is not the green I'm seeing in person, all right? Same, same with the green out here, it's it's different from the camera. The camera is picking up a different type of green. I don't know, it's not the lighting. Just trust me, it's not the same green, okay? Maybe when I take photos on my IG, make sure to follow me on my IG. It will expose the real green that I'm seeing, both for the traction and the laces. That's the only difference I see. Oh, traction. It almost looks like a Kobe 9. It's a Kobe 9-esque traction but I don't know if it's gonna work like a Kobe 9 um, it's a little bit harder it's more rigid than the Kobe 9s but yes I feel like this is gonna work I haven't I haven't worn this on court yet as you guys have seen this I have just unboxed this shoe so after the traction let's go check on the midsole midsole says micro G I'm not one of those that tried the original Micro G, so there is no way for me to compare it. Okay, that was the lateral side. This is the medial side. The upper, man, the upper, I love what the upper is constructed of. Textile mesh all around. Some fused material right here on the toe section for a toe guard. On the big toe area, we have that TPU. That was said on the lateral side of the shoe. We have no TP on them on that medial side. It's a little bit flexible. I'm pretty sure that once I use this, this will this will be good. So there's some raised portion right here on the medial side coming from the traction. This feels like a synthetic material on the medial side more mesh right here on the back side I don't know if this is rubber it feels like it's rubber it's the same type of rubber from the one right here <clears throat> as an external heel counter but as you can hear coming from the inside there is an inner heel counter and this is just a support feature for another heel counter. So you already have an inner, you have an outer heel counter. So what's left to discuss? I, to be honest, I don't know. Some, some, some of the colorways, they don't have the words chaos, right? I don't know why this got a leaf on it, but it's got the word chaos right here. We can find the word anatomics, anatomics, 
But if anybody watching know why they got that leaf, that leaf right here, and it says survival, attack mode, stay hungry inside. That's everything I can, I know and what I can talk about the shoe. Only thing left to do is the on foot. that we've done the uh, on foot of the shoe a couple of things I want to correct myself on is when I said this was a synthetic material look closer that's actually textile material check the check the medial portion see that that's some textile material that's the same thing as the tongue that's also textile material backed with some pillowing or some cushioning right there so I mean that's what happens if the reviewer is somebody like me who does it on the go I unbox the shoes and this is basically the first time when I unbox it that's the first time I'm seeing the shoe as I'm showing it to you guys so it's either you can love that about how I do things or you can hate that but that's how I'll do it because I want you guys to catch my real reaction on the shoes that are coming to me that I paid for. And also another thing, this is actually a separate material. I thought this was layered over this portion, but it's actually a separate material. So the more you tighten this up, the more that's going to be clamping on that portion. So the shoe, how does it feel? Shoe feels really nice, man. The shoe feels really nice. It's not that cushioned all around. The shoe feels really light as well. It feels like um, minimal cushion in the front, enough cushion in the back, and the shoe makes you feel quick. Like, I haven't even ran with this. I was just wearing it, walking around on the concrete portion of where I'm at, not the uh, carpet where you saw me doing my on foot but on the concrete portion like this shoe is gonna make you feel quick the downside to the shoe and I hope you guys haven't bought the shoe yet is that it fits a little bit long so this was my true to size this is an eight half I think the best size for me would have been a half down which is an eight and here's that clip of me showing you where my toe is at and where the tip of the shoe is at Okay, so here it is, y'all. Like, just to show y'all, I ain't being a little bitch about it. So here is the tip of my big toe. That's exactly about half an inch to the tip of the shoe. And that's not something that thick cushion socks are going to fix. That wraps up our video. I hope you guys liked the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet, and like I said, like the video if you like contents like this, and if you want to be notified for new videos such as this one, make sure to hit that bell button as well. Oh yeah, if you guys want to follow me real time review, or shoes that I'm wanting to get, or shoes that I'm wearing that day, follow me on my IG right here. And that's it you guys, time to wrap things up. I will see you guys soon. It's your boy Dizo signing off. Peace out.